In this video, I'll beat two levels. This one that's the most played level of all time, and I used ridiculous shortcuts and had to do midair tricks off screen to get the world record time, and then I'll beat a short and insane level after that. So at the start, I jump off the thwomps and weave through the spikes as tightly as possible, and I jump across the blocks over the poison and hit the on-off switches. Now here, I precisely line Mario up to land in the left side of this claw so I can instantly jump to the next claw. Usually you'd have to swing from left to right to build up enough speed, which takes more time to set up. And then, I activate the on-off off switch and enter the pipe. This next section is a vertical auto-scroller, and it doesn't really matter how fast you go for the first part of it. But once you get to a certain point, you're able to move faster than the screen can scroll, which allows for the most time save in the entire level. So, I'm able to slow down because the bonsai bills have to be far enough to the right so I can make this jump and get around the spike. Now before I show this next part, I'll really quickly explain what I do off screen using the editor view of the level. I have to jump through these claws, swing from right to left in this claw to get enough speed to make it up here, then I hit the on off switch which opens the path, but also releases these moles that I have to dodge, and I enter the pipe. I had to memorize where all the obstacles were while also moving as fast as possible. And here, I actually jump off the mole midair so I can enter the pipe before the pipe even shows up on the screen. And after going through the pipe, there's a boss fight with Boom Boom that usually takes a long time for most players. But by perfectly timing my jumps, I can manipulate where Boom Boom will jump to so I'm as close to the key door as possible to enter it faster. And with one last jump, I touch the gold tape and finish the most popular level with the world record time. In total, I saved three tenths of a second over the previous record, which is quite a bit for a highly contested record. Anyway, this next level is very fast paced, so I'll slow it down to explain what's going on. In the beginning, I throw the pow to jump off the spike ball, land on Yoshi and eat and spit the spike ball to give me a shell, spit the shell at the perfect time to bounce off midair with Yoshi, eat the spring to launch the dry shell so I can land in it midair for an extra jump, shell jump and drop down Yoshi to land on midair, throw the shell into the spring and destroy the spike ball to give me a key, and I perform a very precise throw so the note block bounces up and I can enter the key door within a split second. And after getting through all those obstacles, there's still one more precise jump where I have to bounce off the spike ball midair, and I reach the goal and complete the level. So whenever I achieve something like getting the world record time in the most popular level, I like to celebrate by putting something up on my wall that symbolizes my achievement. I actually spent my entire life playing this level 30 million times to get the record, and now that it's over, I put my gravestone on my wall. <laughs> 